the Alliance. Continue your current course. We'll divert the drones towards that unidentified planet up ahead. Understood, my friend. Everybody, hold tight. Hey, 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 I thought we already had a good plan. We're gonna run away, right? Think again. Jones? None. At least so far. That did it. Let's head home. Yes, Mommy. I love a nice pizza. in seatbelts. At least we are still in one piece. For now. Just don't forget the Beast Planet is still hot on our heels. Excellent point. Which brings us to that new world ahead. If it is populated, we must warn them that the Beast is coming. Scanning the planet now. No sentient life that I can detect. Though it does appear to have a world engine. If we're lucky, it'll keep the Beast Planet occupied while we put a lot of distance between us and the Armada. Uh, excuse me. That is certainly a possibility, though I fail to see the point of... I said, excuse me! Oh, we have no time for your whining now, Toad! Hey, if you can all quit your belly aching for a minute, I'm having me one of my patented brilliant ideas. Not again. Look, like it or not, that bright green mud ball is gonna be brunch for the big beastie, right? Well, so? So, what say we take advantage of that? Use the planet as, say, uh... A nifty little booby trap. You know, that just might be worth a shot. I do not understand. We have to find some way to rig the planet's world engine so that it explodes inside the beast. Yeah, beastie takes a bite and kaboom! Ha! Might just put big black and ugly off solid foods permanently. Though it astonishes me to say so, Fever. Well done. Hey, you don't have to sound so surprised, Cryos. I didn't get to be Emperor for nothing, you know. How much did it cost you? Oh, cute, doll. Real cute. Now we'll need supplies. Enough explosive material, for example, to... Hey, no sweat, Ace. I got enough stuff stashed away to vaporize the galaxy. The proper drooling equipment? Already aboard the strata? Survey vehicles. I will have ice mites loaded immediately. Now, does anyone have a problem with us sacrificing this world to save our own? I believe we all see the irony, my friend. Do we have any other choice? Then let's get moving. Even Money says Block already has more drones on the way to finish us off. Those Alliance fools are taking a heavy toll on my drones. No matter. This time, I promised you, the Alliance will finally fall. This planet is covered with plant life. I'm surprised there's nothing else living here. It is so different from rock. So green. Gardner. It is truly quite breathtaking to destroy such a world. I wish there was another way, but this may be our only chance. Enough sightseeing. 
We have work to do. Tekla, Zuma, if this planet has a world engine, it also has a telepod. Find it. We can use it to teleport the explosives. We will help as best we can. And keep an eye out for sentient life. Cryos and I will do the same. Just to make sure. Jade, you and Femur oversee the drilling operation. If we can't find the telepod, we still have to reach the world engines. Hey, don't worry, Rocco. Me and the bed got everything well in hand. Move that hand, Toad, or lose it. Hey! New plan. Femur comes with us. Bad idea, Rocco. Jungles give me cooties. All right, the clock is ticking, people. Let's get to work. using your eyes for once, rather than your mouth. Oh, that a slam, Frosty. No, merely a hopeful suggestion. Keep alert. There's something about this place that just doesn't feel right. Miners, quarriers, let's get to work. The sooner we are done here, the better. Any trace of our target box? Scanning. Telepod not detected. You will call this planet lifeless, child. Yet it, it, it teems with life. Yes, but with plant life, primitive life, there is a difference. Is there? Our world, the sun people thought us primitive. Would you have sacrificed us as easily? We're doing what we have to do, Zuma, for the sake of all our worlds. But believe me, we regret it. Then perhaps that can be of some small comfort. Telepod technology has been detected. Excellent, Vox. Show us the way. Okay, now what? Now we go on foot. You're kidding, right? Hmm. Fema, time is precious. What are you doing? Just trying a little experiment. Fire in the hole! What? Not bad. With luck, we should reach the world engines, but... Yes? Aurora here. There's trouble. We've scanned the Beast Armada heading your way. Again? So quickly? Graveheart must be alerted. Increase power to the cannon. We need that hole dug now. <coughs> Are you completely mad? You could have killed us all. Hey! Just doing my job, pal. I had to know if my bombs are gonna work, right? Yeah, the full-size version of these babies will do just fine. Look, we're here to do a job, remember? Yes, of course. Forgive my outburst. It appears even my patience has its limits. Well, if that's the way you're gonna be about it, fine. I know where I'm not wanted. I'll just... Hey! 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 Oh, no! Hey, no, no! Yeah! Help! I live here! Come on! Telepod, directly ahead. Quickly, we have to clear it. Zuma, are you all right? We feel a sense of pain, of loss. Forgive us, child. 
but we are needed elsewhere. Zuma? Abort mission. Absolutely not. We have no time to waste. Tecla said this planet was lifeless. There appears to be evidence to the contrary. Talk to me, but make it quick. Graveheart, we've got beasts incoming. Great. What else can possibly go wrong? I had to ask. Computer, online, please. Computer? Vox, what's wrong? Providing illumination. By the Matrix. World engine is beyond repair. Then, this world cannot be moved or saved, regardless of any life. What? I must warn Graveheart, but I still can. Cryos, you okay? I will be... eventually. Any sign of FEMA? None. Then he must be injured, or we'd surely have heard his whining by... Uh, I think maybe my little bomb ticked it off! Warning. Princess Tekla must not be harmed. Stay very still. Zuma, why aren't you with Tekla? We, we, we needed more here. Hey, what about me? You gotta get me! Finally, silence. Cryos, this isn't funny. Femur's in danger here. Perhaps not. What do you mean? We have felt this planet's pain. Since its thoughts. So alien. So strange. And this world is alive. We will strip this planet bare if we have... Jade, whatever you do, do not harm the plants. Tell me you're not serious. We are your friends. We mean you no harm. Oh, great. We come in peace. How original. We are travelers from a distant sun. Our homes are threatened by a dark power that will soon consume you. Leave us alone. Zuma? No. She is speaking for the plant. Look, I don't know how else to say this, but soon the beast who pursues us will destroy your world as well. I have just heard from Tekla. Your world engine is destroyed. We can still escape the beast, but there is no hope for you to do the same. We were going to make your world a weapon against the beast, but now we can't. None, we fear. All that you are will be gone. We would if we could, but you are simply far too vast. Graveheart, we're still drilling. No matter. The telepod can get the explosive to the world engine now. And what are we waiting for? Thank you. Your sacrifice will, will never be forgotten. <sighs> a 
that'll do it. There, bomb blasted overload the world engine power core, causing one humongous chain reaction. You sure this will work, Femur? Hey, only one way to find out, Ace. Planet draws near Graveheart. Then we better make ourselves scarce. First right thing anybody said all, huh? Now what? He asks you to take that cutting child. Me? <laughs> You're kidding, right? With my black thumb. They are of one mind, child. If any part of Planet Jungle survives, the Be gentle with it, Fever. You hold the spirit of an entire world in your hands. Oh, swell. Suddenly I'm a daddy. Once again, we have sacrificed a world to no avail. I'm starting to think we'll never be able to stop that thing. Oh, gee, will you guys lighten up? Remember, as long as there's life, there's hope. Now, if you guys will excuse me, I think this little guy needs a drink. He's got the whole world. Mm -hmm. 